I bought a new thing. I've got to do some rearranging of the deck chairs in here now to put it somewhere because it's quite a big piece of equipment. So I was thinking I'll move that corner out. I'll put it on the wall in that corner. Uh, get rid of some rubbish here. Move some stuff around. The sheet goods can would be better off out of the corner anyway. I'm putting in proper dust collection and as part of that I want to peel back those panels there and put in some sound insulation either in the form of spray foam in a can or bats you know fluffy bats. I also figure I better pull this thing out of its box and put it together at least partially because I need to know its dimensions which aren't written on the box I don't think I'm glad I put it together before I went too far with uh, preparing my corner because it's not going to fit sideways in that corner which is the optimal sort of thing to do lengthways along this front wall Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad there, but I'm going to raise it up off the ground, so I've got that much to play with on top, which is uh, about 700, which isn't a lot, but still, it's off the ground, and at a nice height, I think, for emptying those bags. Before I do too much more though, the next thing I want to do is test it for sound. put it in a little house yeah I am going to put it in a little house but it's not too bad uh, it's the next day 
and somehow magically overnight the little fairies came and put it up on the bench for me uh, now I'm cutting buttons to make a wall here to make the little house Here's the thing about this uh, insulation stuff too. 11 pieces of 2.5 was $10 more than 15 pieces of or 4 Makes no sense to me, but it's the same stuff. More in this bag, $10 cheaper. So it pays to shop around, not shop around, look around on the same shelves in Bunnings next morning I've come out and the fairies have put up a door and they're great <coughs> I can't say much because uh, I've got a uh, anyway nothing's ever easy I got 100 mil PVC which isn't 100 mil it's 108 on the outside and 102 on the inside I bought a 102 mil hole saw about fifty dollars worth, and it's too small, of course, because this is not hundred mil. So now I've got a. Now I've got a. <laughs> and I'm not in the mood, really.
sorry about the flickering I'll be quick that's just the bad lighting in here but I've made a start I've got that hang on, hanging from the ceiling and a bit of flex holes then to uh, attach it to the machine that flex hose was also a problem in that it's the exact same diameter as that hose so I can't fit it into that hose or over that hose it had to be parallel to that hose and uh, 100 mile an hour tape will see it right for a while so I'm coming out here with that first one which will go straight across here to the center and drop down to where my Triton will be. Then the other one will come out behind it and go 45 degrees across the shed. I'll have a drop down here for all these machines and then they'll continue over there, drop down for those machines as well. That's the plan. Just two pipes, two pipes and three drop downs. Uh, that machine can actually can actually uh, attach three pipes, but I'm only going to attach two for now. But aside from that, I'm going in for some medicinal whiskey and an early night. I'll come back to this tomorrow. I did promise to show you the finished product in the toilet. So here that is. A simple plywood cupboard painted by Rosie. Thank you, Rosie, because I hate painting. Uh, to replace the old uh, melamine flat pack thingy. So that looks okay, don't it? <laughs>